ಕಾಂಸ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಸಮಯ ಕಪುಬಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಕಂಠಾವರೋಧನ ವಿಧೋ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಕುತ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ತದೀಯ ಪದ ಪಂಕಜ ಪಂಜರಾಂತ ಅದೈವಿಷತು ಮೀ ಮಾನಸ ರಾಜಹಂಸ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಯಾಣ ಸಮಯ ಕಪುಮಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಕಂಠಾವರೋಧನ ವಿಧೌ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಕೃತ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ತದೀಯ ಪದ ಪಂಕಜ ಪಂಜರಾಂತ verse was sung by king kulasekhar a great king but at the same time a great devotee of the lord his uh, songs are recorded in the book known as mukundamala stotra there is very famous book uh, is sung by many devotees so it does not matter whether a man is king or a poor mendicant everyone has the facility to become the greatest devotee of the lord so he is praying my dear krishna uh your uh, feet is lotus we generally we say lotus feet but where the lotus flower is there the white swan they come to the lotus flower and try to play with the stem they the sport going down the water and be entangled with the stem of that lotus flower that is their sporting so king kulasekha is praying that let the swan of my mind be immediately entered into the network of the stem of your lotus feet so uh, that means he wants to engage his mind uh, on the lotus feet of the lord immediately uh, there is no question of delay he says that now i am in sound mind i uh, if i think that i shall think of your lotus feet at the time of death uh, there is no certainty because at the time of death the whole body becomes dislocated the whole function becomes dismantled the body is supposed to be conducted by three elements uh kapha pitta vayu uh cold and bile and air so uh, when these three elements work simultaneously there is no disease in the body but as soon as there is overlapping disruption of these three elements the body become diseased and when it is not possible to bring them again in their uh, regulatory principle a man dies that is the uh verdict of ayurved shastra so death takes takes place when these three elements become overlapped with one another and the symptom is that there is a um, sound on the throat uh which is called uh, ghar ghar uh, 
That means the patient cannot speak. The throat is choked up and he becomes suffocated and dies. Uh, this is the last stage symptom of this body. So King Kulasekar says that I cannot wait uh, up to that time when everything will be uh, topsy turvy. Now my mind is sound. Let me enter immediately in the stem of your lotus feet. That means he is praying. Let me die in the sound condition of my life so that I can think of your lotus feet. In other words, he is giving us uh, lessons that if we do not practice to engage our mind on the lotus feet of Krishna, when our mind is sound, how it is possible to think of him at the time of death. 